After your baby's born, uh, we would need to make sure that your baby is breathing okay, that the heart rate is okay, and we would do whatever we need to do to stabilize your baby. Um, Omphaloceles uh, are um, membrane-covered uh, intestine, and we want to make sure that the intestines stay intact, uh, that is, that they, um, that they stay whole. And so the best thing that we can do for that is to support the omphaloceal using uh, moist uh, sterile wrappings to make sure that um, the, uh, the membrane covering the intestine stays whole, and also that there isn't too much twisting uh, of the intestines that might compromise the blood flow. So uh, we do all that in the delivery room and then we would bring your baby back to the intensive care nursery to do our further evaluation and care. Once your baby is in the intensive care nursery, uh, we will continue to support the omphaloceal uh, physically by making sure that it doesn't twist too much. We would keep it wrapped and moist so that it doesn't dry out um, and that the membrane stays whole. And then we would proceed with an evaluation um, to look for other possible problems. So omphaloceals can be associated with other uh, problems, and two of the ones that we would want to look at and evaluate immediately are blood sugars. Um, so blood sugars can be low in babies with omphaloceals, and we would want to deal with that immediately by checking the blood sugar and putting in an IV to give uh, sugar if we need to. The second thing that we would want to evaluate and look for uh, immediately is for the possibility of uh, heart problems. So babies with omphaloceals can sometimes have associated heart problems.